What's going on people, it's your boy Fuzzy here and welcome back to my channel. Today we're back with another Modern Warfare 3 Zombies video for you guys and as requested I'm going to be showing you a full tutorial on how you guys can get unlimited essence within Modern Warfare 3 Zombies and it's actually really easy to do guys. I'm going to give you guys the full breakdown and the full guide in today's video. Now you guys are going to be able to do this solo or with a team. Now when you guys do it with a team it's going to be a lot more efficient. You're going to be able to do this a lot faster and you're probably going to be able to hit max essence within about two or three games depending on whether or not you're playing with two or three different people so if you guys are not playing solo and you are playing with one other person or with two other people in your team as i said this is going to be a lot faster and the way in which you guys are going to want to do this is very simple you're going to want to load up your game as normal and then pretty much you're going to want to split up and start different contracts at different times now doing this is going to allow you guys to max amount the amount of essence that you actually earn in that game so as you guys can see on screen one of my teammates is at the resort and he's doing a contract there there whilst I'm currently waiting here in tier 2 by another contract so as soon as he finishes that contract and we all get paid 2000 essence I'm going to be starting this one straight away and then as soon as I finish this one the third player on our team will be standing by another contract and then he'll start that one straight away so it takes out the downtime in between contracts and if you guys have one person that's in tier 3 doing the deliver the cargo and then two other people in tier 2 on either side doing deliver the cargo you guys will be able to do those deliver the cargo contracts really quickly and then every time one of you have actually gone around in a rotation you're going to be earning 11,000 because you'll get 3,000 per the two contracts that you did in tier 2 and then 5,000 for the contract that you did in tier 3 which means every time each of you do a contract all together you would have earned 11,000 essence if you do that around five or six times in one game then all of you could easily rack up around 70,000 each so once you guys have all your money together that's pretty much step one complete now before we move on to step two for doing it in a group let's just talk about how you guys can complete step one for solo so if you guys are solo obviously you're not going to be able to do back-to-back -back contracts how you would if you was in a team but you guys can still do contracts and you can still grind out as much essence as possible so that's pretty much what you're going to do if you're solo just come in and grind as much essence as possible throughout the game and if you guys actually go after essence in the game i don't doubt that you guys will be able to rack up at least 60 to 70 thousand essence in that game and then you're pretty much set so if you guys are playing solo once you've racked up all the money that you're happy with in that game let's just say for argument's sake you made 50,000 all you guys need to do is go ahead and get the tombstone perk make sure it's active so you've drunk it then let yourself go down by one of the zombies once you guys have gone down make sure you plead out and then leave the game once you've left the game that tombstone is now going to be locked in on the map with that 50,000 in there and then essentially all you guys need to do is keep on rinsing and repeating so the next game you come in you're going to go after all the essence that you can make again in one game let's just say you made another 50,000 then you're going to go to your tombstone in that game collect the other 50,000 that you made in the game prior add them together now you'll have a hundred thousand then essentially you're going to get tombstone let yourself go down again and then leave the game now once you've left the game you're going to have a hundred thousand locked in your tombstone and then you're just going to keep on rinsing and repeating that until you guys get to max essence now it is quite long-winded when you're doing it solo and that's why i'd always advise to do this as a team as you guys can see on screen we're also doing it as a team because it's just way faster but there is an option to do it solo if you guys need to so if you guys are doing this in a team as you guys can see on screen the method is slightly different as you guys need to share the money in between all of you so you can't just leave the game because if one person leaves the game then the money is going to disappear and it's only going to be for that one person so when you're doing it with a team the only way in order to do this is everyone's going to have to share the money for one person that person will go down they'll plead for help and then they'll get revived that's now going to set that person's tombstone in that game so long as they had tombstone perk active it's the same method in order to keep your tombstone when you go through the dark ether and that's the method you're going to have to do when you're trying to do this so essentially everyone's going to drop me the money i'm going to go down and plead for help they're going to revive me then i'm going to drop the next person all the money they're going to go down plead for help and then we'll revive them once all three of us in our game has done that we're going to head straight to the dark ether go straight to the dark ether portal you guys can play the dark ether if you want to you don't have to you can run straight to the exit portal if you want and then just literally exit via the portal in the dark ether you may lose all the items that was in your backpack but your tombstone will still be safe in game so then as you guys can see on screen the next game that you come in all that money that you put in your tombstone everyone will have that in their tombstone so we put 270k in our tombstone because that's the amount of money that was able to accumulate throughout the game and now all of us have 270k so now once we've collected our tombstone one of my friends will just drop me his part of the money and just like that my money would have doubled so we went from 
70k to 500k just like that and now i'm going to get my other friend to drop me the rest of his money just so i can set my tombstone for good but at this point essentially i would just die with that 500k get my friend to revive me then i would give him the 500k he would die i would revive him and then we would go to the dark ether again we would exit via the dark ether then the next game when we come in we would both have 500k in our tombstone then he would share his 500k with me meaning that now i would be at max money i would collect it go down he would revive me then i'll give him the money he'll go down and i will revive him and then we'll leave through the dark ether again and then the next game we come in both of our tombstones will be at max money and it's as simple as that guys it's really easy to do and as i said you're going to want to make sure you're doing this with people because it's going to make it two times as faster because you're just going to be able to double your funds every single time instead of only getting 50,000 and adding 50,000 to your tombstone every game whilst you're doing it solo this way you're going to be able to add maybe a hundred thousand every single time or even two hundred thousand every single time because you're having someone else giving you their part of their money as well so you're getting two times that amount meaning you're going to be able to do this two times as far now a few things to note when you guys are doing this when you are going down make sure you do not have self-revive otherwise it's not going to work this is for solo and when you're in a team just make sure you don't have self-revive when you are trying to do this if you guys are doing this in a team then i'd highly suggest just one of you put a sigil inside your tombstone so that way when you are doing this method you do have a sigil ready to go into the dark ether so that you can exile via the dark ether now if you forget to bring in a sigil not to worry because you can just go into tier 3 and go ahead and get one but to make your life easier just make sure you have that sigil ready to go in your tombstone because as i said if you are doing it with multiple people that's the only way in which you guys are going to be able to exile properly and in order to keep your tombstone so just make sure you guys have a sigil at least in your tombstone also once you guys go inside the dark ether you guys can go to any portal that you want in there to exfil just make sure that once you go through the portal you don't disconnect your game you don't close your game nothing like that you don't need to do anything like that guys just follow the successful exfil through let it play all the way through and let it take you back to the lobby now once you go back to the lobby you might have lost some of the stuff that was in your backpack but that's pretty much it everything else would have stuck and your tombstone will also stick as well so that the next time you go in game your tombstone will be there now if you disconnect whilst you're going through the portal or when you're on a black screen that might make you lose your tombstone so just follow the whole x fill all the way through so you guys can see the successful x fill on your screen and let it naturally take you back to the lobby that way your tombstone will still be there the next game now there are two other ways in which you guys are going to be able to achieve this as well the first way is very simple all you guys need to do is join the discord server we're going to have a link in the description and we're also going to have a link as a pinned comment of this video now if you guys do need help just join the discord server i'm pretty sure people in there will be able to drop you max essence or even if they're not able to drop you max essence you might find someone or maybe two people that you can actually go ahead and do this method with in order to get the max essence so that's one option the second option in which you guys have is to simply go into a normal game and then once you are loading up into the game use the game chat slash text chat to put out a message to everyone and to see if anyone can give you an essence drop now i do see a few people doing this and they do it wrong every single time if you are going to be asking people for stuff in game then be respectful about it guys be polite and say please i see a lot of people in the text chat and they'll say stuff like give me money or i want money now that's not how you ask for things and if you're asking like that people are probably not going to help you just open up the chat put a decent message out hey guys can anyone help me with essence i lost my tombstone i'm trying to make another one please can anyone help now with that type of message you're more than likely going to get a response so you guys can either talk in the text chat and maybe you can get someone to give you a random drop that way you guys can join the discord get some drops done that way if you want to do it by yourself solo i've given you the option for that and if you guys want to do it in a group i've also given you the option for that as well so these are all the ways in which you guys are going to be able to get unlimited essence within modern warfare 3 zombies let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below if this video was helpful in any shape way or form please do like comment share and subscribe let's see if we can hit 300 likes on this video if there's any other tutorials that you guys need me to cover do let me know in the comment section below i'm currently working on a tutorial on how you guys are going to be able to keep your tombstone after doing the red worm boss and that video should be out tomorrow or the day after so definitely keep an eye out for that if that's something you guys are interested in but anyways thanks for watching let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below anyways that's it for me it's been your boy furs i'm out peace